All right, everyone, so before this video gets started, if you're interested in being a Lyft driver and you want to get a sign-on bonus, go ahead and use my link in the description to sign up. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan and thanks so much for coming by. I got this little cup of coffee here because I am so tired. Um, I'm super jet lagged and I actually just got back um, from Christmas break. So I am here back in Orange County and as you can kind of see, it is um, actually sunny out and I don't have to wear a winter coat and scarf. But anyways, it is approaching the new year. It's almost the new year and I wanted to make this video on the top 10 reasons to drive for Lyft or Uber on New Year's Eve. And this is one of the biggest potential earnings night for any driver. So I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about my top 10 reasons that I think uh, driving for New Year's is a really good reason. So the first reason is pretty obvious, but it's for money. New Year's Eve is one of the best nights to drive simply for making money. There is a ton of demand for uh, for drivers because there is so much uh, passengers. So on Lyft, you're going to be getting something called prime time, which is basically your rate for driving is going to be increased uh, per ride. And on Uber, you're going to have surge pricing, which I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with. But basically, you're going to be making um, sometimes tw two times, three times, sometimes up to five times as much as you would make on a normal night. And it is during the weekday this year, but that doesn't mean that there's not going to be tons of people out. I mean, you can ask anyone, what are your plans for New Year's? Everyone's going out. Also, on the note of money, is that people are going to tip a lot. And this is just because people tip when they're drinking and you know when you're drinking you're in a good mood you want to have fun and you know people are going to be spending so much money on new year's and you know they're gonna they're gonna want to tip their driver and a lot of times when people realize that you know they're you're basically their designated driver they want to include you and they want to give you a tip as well on new year's night don't be don't be shocked when you know you make five hundred dollars don't be shocked when you make six hundred bucks this is totally normal for New, Year, for New Year's Eve. Um, if you can get a full eight hours in, which I totally recommend. You know, I don't recommend driving full time for everyone. For me, I only drive part time. But on New Year's Eve, I think it's smart to drive a full eight hours if you can, or even more. Um, you know, take breaks, of course. But you know, if you drive eight, nine hours, you you're probably going to be making um, you know upwards of three hundred, four hundred, five hundred dollars. I mean, if you drive XL, you can make like a thousand bucks easily. All right, now moving on to number two. Driving on New Year's Eve is super fun. You're literally gonna be meeting tons of cool, fun, interesting people, and everyone's gonna be in a good mood. Everyone's, you know, celebrating. They wanna end the year on a good night. It's gonna be super fun. That's another reason why people tip well is because on New Year's Eve is because they wanna end the year well, you know, they wanna have good vibes. You're gonna to meet tons of cool people. Everyone's gonna be like celebrating. Um, you know, you can be celebrating as well. And I'm gonna just say this flat out right now, but driving for Lyft on New Year's Eve or Uber is the, gonna be the funnest night uh, in your driving career. It's just, it's just so fun. It's the funnest night of the year. You know, you're playing good music, your people are, dancing in your car it's pretty much a party in your car and a lot of times like I prefer being in the car than going out to a bar and a lot of people will too so you're gonna pick people up from the bar and they're gonna be like finally we're like we're out of the bar and you can basically turn your car into a party if you want to decorate your car with lights have some nice music it'll be super fun you're celebrating the end of a great year let's uh, you know head into the new year in a good mood as well but yeah it's not hard to have fun on New Year's Eve and number three is that on New Year's Eve you're able to drive really long and still make good money you know usually during a normal day you drive in the morning during rush hour for like two or three hours and then in the evening for two or three hours and then at night on the weekends you know there's like two or three hours where it's good but on New Year's there's literally eight hours that are really good um, first of all you can drive during the day if you want um, just, just because people are gonna be doing stuff during the day because they have the day off or they're going if they work on New Year's Eve which I'm not sure, it depends on your on uh, people's jobs, but um, you know, some people do work on New Year's Eve, so you can drive during the day, but then at night, you can start at like 7 p.m., and then you can literally drive up until 5 a.m., and that's just because most places are open until around 4 a.m. A lot of people will start heading home at like 12.30 or so, 
but you'll still get rides up until like 4 or 5 a.m. Okay, number four is that you're gonna meet people and possibly get invited out. So I don't know about you, but my New Year's plans are always iffy on the last second and sometimes they fall through. So if you don't have any plans on New Year's, expect to get invited out while you're driving. And I don't know, maybe this isn't for you, but um, you know, you know, maybe you'll wanna get invited out and do something, or maybe not for New Year's, but for, you know, for later on as well. People are gonna, you're gonna meet people and definitely make friends while you're driving. That's just a given. Um, you know, if you talk to any driver, they've definitely been invited out. I have made friends with my passengers. And a lot of times when you drive at night, people invite you out. You know, they wanna have a good time. They say, hey, come along as well. Usually, you know, you say, hey, I, you know, I'm actually working right now, so I can't just, you know, stop working and come out. It does happen, so that's another reason. All right, number five. This is the on the other side of the spectrum. Is that partying is overrated. You know, I, I haven't drinking in a really long time. I just don't do that anymore. Um, it's just not something I'm really interested in. You know, there's a lot of better things to do than going out and partying. And what's a great thing to do instead of partying is work, make money, pay off your debt. Um, you know, save towards your next big thing. Maybe you want to buy a new car. Maybe you want to buy a house, get a bigger house. Um, you know, driving for Lyft is a great way to increase your income and just, you know, create financial freedom for yourself. I don't think there's anything wrong or negative about you know, dry, having a full-time job and then driving for Lyft as well on the weekends or at night or, <clears throat> you know, after you get off work. I've done that before. And, you know, that's just because I was making like thirty or $40,000 at the time and I wanted to start making fifty or 60000 You know, it's just, and I was just doing it part-time. Partying is overrated and go out and, you know, you, you can party whenever you want. You know, as Grant Cardone says, uh, you know, money lasts a lot longer than having fun. Um, you know, and having fun leads you to be able to do better things. Why go out and party when you can go make money and then have fun later when you own a boat or a private jet, you know? Maybe you're trying to start a business and you're doing Lyft in order to pay for your business. You know, you wanna save up 10 grand to start a company. Um, driving for Lyft is a great way to do that. Sorry, a coffee break. See guys, even YouTubers get coffee breaks. All right, number six is start the new year off right. I don't know about you, but when I start the new year off right, it sets the tone for my entire year. And that's the reason why gyms are always packed in January. You know, everyone wants, everyone wants to start the new year off right. And it's pretty funny, if you go to the gym regularly, you'll see that the gyms are packed in January and then later, like in February, they're literally just as dead as they were in December or whatever. But yeah, start the new year off right, go out, make some money, and start earning for yourself. For me, I set goals every single year. I actually set goals every single day. It's just what I wanna accomplish for the day and what I have in my long-term goals, just so I remind myself what I'm really working for every day. But for starting off the new year, maybe you wanna increase your income. So driving for Lyft, you know, you can start that on the 31st and heading into the new year. I guarantee you not a lot of people are gonna be working on New Year's Eve and on the early hours of the new year. So you can literally be the richest person in, uh, you know, in the new year, just based on how much you've been making on the new year, you know, just for those few hours. You know, obviously there are people who make a lot more money, but you know, who cares? We can all make money together. Number seven, and this might be a little controversial. This might be your last New Year's Eve as a rideshare driver. As many of you know, and I'm sure this is not, you know, any spoiler news to anybody, but driverless cars are becoming more and more mainstream every single day. Um, you know, you hear about it on the news, on the internet. Um, people are starting to accept it. Google is testing out their cars right now in Arizona. You know, they actually have customers and people are taking them. This is pretty crazy, but you know, this might be the last New Year's Eve where you can drive. You know, next year, it might just be all driverless cars. We don't know. And sure, maybe it's not the last year, but it might be one of the last years to be a rideshare driver. So you can be part of that history. And it will, you know, be the last time you can experience New Year's Eve as a rideshare driver. I think driving on New Year's Eve as a Lyft and an Uber driver is gonna be one of the highlights of your entire life. It's it's crazy, it's fun, you make a ton of money. Yeah, we'll have stories to tell literally for the rest of your life. Okay, number nine, and this is actually something I learned from a fellow YouTuber, his name is Chris. He's been on this channel before. The real reason he drives is to stop people from drunk driving. Unfortunately, a lot of people 
do drink and drive and it's one of the worst decisions anyone can ever make in their life is to drive while you're drunk. I think one of the issues is that when you're drunk, you, you're not thinking clearly, so you think it's a good idea to drive. And when you're sober, you wouldn't have driven, but when you've had a few drinks, it's easy to convince yourself that it's a good idea. But fortunately, as Uber and Lyft drivers, you can be that designated driver. You can help stop people from driving drunk. And if that's your why, you know, I always encourage people to have a why. Why are you driving? For me, it was to pay off debt. <laughs> I wanted to pay off my credit card. It might sound silly, but um, I, I learned that I just don't want to have any credit cards ever again. And um, so I drove Lyft to pay off my credit cards. But um, for you, if that's to stop dr people from drinking and driving, then that's amazing. And um, it, it's just, it's a great benefit from being a driver is you can be part of that. You can literally save people's lives. I'm not exaggerating here. You're literally saving people's lives as a ride share driver. You may not realize it, but if you weren't there to be that person's driver, they might actually get into a car. Maybe you might think, oh, another person would have picked them up. If you just happen to be close to that person and they open up their Uber app and they see that, you know, the closest driver's 20 minutes away, whereas you, were five minutes away, that might have been the difference between them drinking and driving. So yes, in a way, um, you saved their life. You, you could save people's lives every single day without even realizing it. Okay, number 10. Because there are gonna be so many passengers, they're gonna be short pickups and long drives. What I mean by this is that on New Year's Eve, people travel a lot. Just for instance, I have friends who are going to LA. They're going to be Ubering all the way to LA and Ubering back in the morning. You know, and I've, I live in Orange County. Expect uh, long rides, which is really, really good money. That's why you're able to make such good money. But your pickups are going to be super short just because there's going to be so many uh, ride requests. You're not gonna be wasting like 20 minutes picking anybody up. You're gonna be driving five minutes max, maybe 10 minutes max, and, um, and driving really long. All right, and here is the bonus one. Bonus reason to drive for Lyft on New Year's Eve or Uber is you can record your videos and make a YouTube video out of it. Yes, I just said that. In this day and age, you can make a video and I have seen many videos from New Year's Eve or just from driving late in general that have gone viral. I don't record my passengers but just because that's not really something I want to do. I'm more of the educational side and, and stuff like that. But if that's you, you know, if you want to create entertainment, I guarantee you your video will get tons of views. People make a lot of money on YouTube. You know, my channel's still pretty small, but I have a video that's that's like 15,000 views. And yes, I do make money on stuff like that. You know, there are ads on my videos, as I'm sure you guys know, or, um, you know, doing brand deals and stuff like that. I'm not trying to flex on you guys. But yeah, if you want to make a video of your passengers, you know, just get the permission beforehand if, to use the video, or you can just blur their face out. I don't, I don't see any problem with that. Anyways, guys, those are my top 10 reasons, plus the bonus reason on why you should drive for Lyft or Uber on New Year's Eve. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you're interested in being a Lyft driver and you want to get a sign-on bonus, go ahead and use my link in the description. It's going to be the first link uh, right in the description. And you can start making $20 to $30 an hour, sometimes even more, especially on New Year's. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and click subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Are you driving on New Year's Eve? All right, guys. It's been another episode of the Rideshare Hub. See you guys soon. Bye.